Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video, hopefully it's come out a day after another video where you've seen me going to auction with James of Chops Garage. If you haven't, make sure you check that video out, it was really fun, there's more like that coming. But James and I were talking the night before, we went for a meal, and he was telling me all about his kind of charity raffles that he does, and he really inspired me. And I had a car sat in the forecourt that I thought would be a perfect raffle car. I haven't had a huge amount of success with raffles in the past, but I have raffled off some fairly non-exciting cars and things before. So I'm hoping this will be the exception, and I'm hoping that, you know, by throwing it in and doing it, you know, for a charitable cause will help as well. So we're heading down to Barra Beach right now. I'm gonna get some nice pictures of this. We are in a convertible. I mean, you've probably seen the title of this video anyway, and I've picked the absolute worst day to do it. It's been raining nonstop. Of course, it was lovely and sunny yesterday, but that's just odds law. We're gonna go down there, get some nice pictures of it, get some shots, show you around this car, and then we'll get out on these backcountry lanes here and really show you why it is you probably want to be spending a couple of quid trying to get a ticket for this car. Right, so here it is, my 2003 5 litre V8 Mercedes SL500. And some of you may remember this from a previous video where I said I bought a stolen Mercedes SL500. And I might have even put the title in this video as well, actually. Because when we bought this, it did have a stolen marker against it with a police force, not as an insurance write-off, but in the year that it was made, 2003, someone had stolen this car, or at least it was reported stolen. And that had flagged up again once we put the original number plate back on. But we have now had that removed and I can do a vehicle score check in a minute. I'll show you that it's now completely HBI clear. It's only 57,000 miles. It's absolutely gorgeous in black. It is a convertible, but we're not gonna put the roof down today. Well, A, because it's a miserable, horrible day, and B, because I do need to fix it. It's got a switch that's playing up. We will get that fixed so the roof is working perfectly. But we'll have a quick look around, talk to you about the car. So we've got these nice diamond cut alloy wheels on it. They kind of look quite modern. I don't think they're necessarily the original wheels, but I think they suit it quite well. Obviously, it's in obsidian black. We've got tinted windows. We've got, I think they call it, after I did the last video, people were telling me that I said this is some kind of like gray or mushroom, but I think it's elephant skin is what they call it, this interior. So it's actually quite a nice option, I think, because I don't think it really dates it too badly. You've got air adjustment seats, heated seats. Uh, it has got sat nav, but it needs a disc. I'll try and get one, but no promises necessarily. It is, of course, an automatic. If you come around the back, you can see that it's got an aftermarket exhaust system on it, which sounds absolutely incredible and we'll put that to the test in a minute when we go out on the lanes it does come with the original boxes though which are in here among our filming gear so in here you've got the original back boxes as well as the original grill for the front and there is a replacement door trim as well let me show you what that's for just chipped off there, we've got a replacement one of those. So we will get that fitted as well. So as I say, it's a five litre V8. It makes about 302 horsepower, I think. My favorite angle of this car is the back. I think it looks absolutely awesome. It just looks so wide and mean. And of course it makes that absolutely glorious V8 noise. It's just a very cool car, I think. Um, partly reminds me of something very fast. It partly reminds me of a slipper. But I know this is a dream car for a lot of people. I've always wanted one, that's why I bought it. Was it sensible retail stock for me at Barrow Motors? Probably not. But would it be a sensible investment for two pounds you could potentially win this? I definitely would. I have actually got a spec sheet for this, which I forgot to bring, but it's like buy Xenon headlights and air suspension, heated seats, sat nav. It's got an absolute ton of stuff on there, but I forgot to bring it with me. So I'll put that in the listing for the raffle. I think that's enough waffling. Let's uh, get off the beach, we'll head out in the lanes, and we'll see what it sounds like.
Right, I realize we got this far and I haven't actually said what charity it's gonna be for, how much the tickets are gonna be, all that sort of stuff. I've just been having too much fun, so let's head back and we'll talk about all of that good stuff. Right, so the idea is that these are gonna be two pounds a ticket. You could just spend two pounds and potentially win this car. We're gonna give 20% away to a charity called Ben. Now, Ben, I might have talked about them on the channel before, but they are basically a charity that helps people in the automotive sector with all sorts of things, mental health, gambling addictions, anything. If you're in the motor trade and you're having a hard time, you can reach out to the charity Ben and they will help you, which I think is absolutely amazing. And it's great to see someone doing that for the motor industry. There's gonna be a minimum amount of tickets that we need to sell in order for the car to be the prize. If not, it's gonna be 50% of all paid entries. So if we get 6,000 pounds worth of entries, you will win 3,000 pounds and the rest will basically go to the charity. So either way, you're either winning the car or an absolute stack of cash. All the details will be in the description. Uh, there'll be a link to the raffle, which will be live by the time this video goes live. So go and check that out. It's with raffle, uh, same people that James from Chops Garage uses all the time, people that I've used before, and it's all been pretty good. And they've always done a great job. So make sure you get yourself over there and grab a ticket. I nearly forgot, I said I'd do a vehicle score check on this, didn't I, to show you that it had a a full clean history now. So I'm gonna to go to my save tab, enter our registration, which is Echo Juliet 03 Mike Zulu Delta. It's gonna give us our score, which is 635 out of 999. Now that's not bad for a 21 year old luxury sports car. I wonder if this is ULES compliant. It's ULES compliant as well. So if you live in London, this could be the perfect car for you. And I actually remember, because this is a slightly older car, You'd expect a five litre V8 to be the 798 or 95 pound tax bracket. It's not, it's 395 pounds. So that is an absolute bargain. What we wanna do is the ultimate report plus and need to add our promo code, which is shifting metal 20. Add that, we save ourselves 20% makes it just nine pounds 58. We've done our Apple pay, which makes it super easy to do. We'll just wait for our report to come out. Right, for continuity, we had to move then because a customer needed to get out. So here is our report. No certificate of destruction, no outstanding finance, no insurance category, not a high risk vehicle, no color change. It's had a plate change, we know that. No salvage record, not scrapped, etc., etc. So all good, there's all of our previous plate changes. No stolen record, most importantly. No stolen record found. So we got in touch with the police and said, that's not stolen, it's 20 years old, this thing now, could you remove it? Which they have done. I forgot to say, we're running this raffle for a month as well. Maybe that's been my mistake before is running them only for a week or two. So within the last week of the raffle running, you'll be able to go to vehicle score, type in the registration for this car, and you'll be able to view my paid report for free uh, because that's what vehicle score do. Any check that's been done over 20 days old, you can look at what someone else has previously paid for. So that'd be very handy indeed. I'm hoping you all get involved, find this a worthwhile thing to do. It means we could do more in the future. We've got loads of interesting cars here. I mean, we've got a really nice Audi S1 sat next to me. That could be a good raffle car, but we kind of need to build our way up. So I hope it goes well. Hope we raise some good money for Ben, the charity. I hope you've enjoyed the video and seeing me drive this absolute monster. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe. That's it. Don't forget to check out the link in the description, get in there early and I'll have some bundle deals so you can get some free tickets as well. Early doors only, so make sure you get down there. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.